Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with the reading. First let's shuffle four times the deck. Let's see what is the overall energy. It is the page of swords in the reverse. There's lack of communication and clarity and honesty at the same time regarding the situation with the person that is on your mind. But let's see more details. First, we will see what happened in the past and why it all happened. Then, their possible actions towards you at the end of this reading. So, what happened? Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. One challenge is that the connection was moving very, very slow towards commitment. They were not making uh, enough progress towards uh, moving the connection to the next important step. At the same time, the connection may have been a big burden, too much of a drama and seemed like one partner took all the responsibility for caring for what the connection. Now let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of is that now you want to think logically with your mind and not your heart you want to be uh, to make a decision based on facts and not emotions and you want to be more mature now in your decision regarding that situation so you don't want to make any more mistakes there how you view the situation it is the Nine of Cups. In fact, you want to be with this person. Uh, your wish is to be with them. Even though there were, there were these challenges that it was not moving towards commitment. It didn't provide the stability that you wanted. Let's see about the current situation. The Hangman and the Nine of Wands. You are wounded. You are hurt by the actions or words that this person said. You are not taking any actions, they are not taking any actions, and them being in a state like that makes you not trust them as much as before. But I think you haven't given up yet. You're still wanting to see it from another perspective. You're still thinking about what to do next regarding that situation. Let's see about what is something you want to avoid, and what is your fear? Your fear is that the connection may have been toxic, not healthy. It may have been an obsession or it was maybe lust more than love. So take what resonates. And what you want to avoid is being in this stagnation mode of hesitation and not moving forward with a decision. Now let's see what is happening with the person in your mind. They have the Seven of Pentacles. This person hasn't given up. They are waiting there. I think they are waiting to see what will happen with uh, your connection with them. Yes, they haven't given up. They feel hurt that the connection ended like that. They feel alone, abandoned, and are focused on their work and career now at this moment. Maybe it is a form of distraction. This person was also obsessed with you. Now, let's see their possible actions towards you, if any. Two of Swords. Indecision. Not making any action, but just staying in this position of waiting. Uh, this is for the time frame of this reading. Now let's uh, clarify why the Two of Swords for them. Two of Pentacles. Again, the, the, same, the same energy. Indecisiveness. Not knowing what to do. Three of 
three of pentacles but they are interested into investing in that connection the problem is that they are not taking any actions now let's see where this reading goes with more details in the extended where i want to view how does your person feel now how do they view you from the outside what are their intentions and also what are the energies of you them and the connection if you want to watch the extended you can find it in the description box below see you the next reading and bye for now